Well, it was bound to happen, what with so many things getting smaller and smaller all the time. First, of course, pocket calculators, micro cassette recorders and the like. Then the stereo radios that you clip to your belt and take jogging. Modern TVs feature ultra high definition and big sleek screens. But in the early 80s, it was all about the tiny TV. It's the hottest new fad in electronics, tiny TVs. Some so small they actually fit on your wrist. Others no bigger than a paperback book. They range in price from $200 to $500. Some use a new flat TV tube, and some use a liquid crystal display. They are battery powered. The batteries tend to last only a few hours, but that's not keeping the buyers away. Reception is marvelous, especially for someone looking for a gift that's different. Helen Beckerhoff. There, there are certain types of watch buyers who just love a gimmicky watch, and you can sell them anything that's different. Or Susan Moody. Not for me, for my husband. He's a TV fanatic. At the moment, Sony is out in front with its watchman, but right on its heels are companies like Casio and Sinclair and especially Seiko with its wristwatch TV. Remember Dick Tracy, the comic strip? Well, it's come to life. Some of Seiko's wristwatch TVs are already selling in U.S. stores for about $500. Meantime, each Seiko dealer has one watch to show. This store is raffling it off. The Sony Watchman, however, is on the shelves, selling for about $200. It picks up an incredibly good picture. In fact, in here, our reception is very, very bad, and it's an amazing picture on that. No sale. Eric Perkins likes the Sony. The Casio that's out, however, with the liquid crystal display is even smaller than this. It will fit in your pocket. In Japan, where most of these tiny TVs are made, they're churning them out. The Japanese know exactly how many shopping days there are until Christmas. As ever, everything old is new again. Those little wrist TVs are reminiscent of today's smartwatches from Apple, LG, Samsung, and other companies capitalizing on the wearable devices trend.